Hey, we're here at the Olympus booth at CP Plus in Japan, and their big announcement is the OMD EM5 Mark II. It's got a, a bunch of cool new features that make it a better camera, and we're gonna go check it out. The original EM5 was Olympus's first OMD camera, so this update has been anticipated for a while. And when looking at the updates individually, they may sound subtle, but they add up to make a strong improvement to an already great camera. The biggest update is stabilization. EM5 Mark II has an improved 5-axis in-body image stabilization that, combined with the 16-megapixel image sensor, allows you to stack multiple shots at once in order to create a single 40-megapixel image. To do this, the stabilization system uses its voice coil motor to move the sensor in half pixel increments and take eight sequential shots. Those shots are then combined into one large picture. You do need a tripod to do this and your subject needs to be very still, but the feature is still rather impressive. The camera also has a brand new touch screen, and it's the first OMD that offers a fully articulated screen. And that's something that should help videographers get those tough shots, whether you're shooting handheld or on a tripod. Also for video shooters, the EM5 Mark II offers a 1080-60 frames per second mode, and it has bitrate options that go up to 77 megabits per second. So there are a lot more video recording options than you got with the original EM5. There's also a mic jack, focus peaking, and the option of a headphone jack if you buy the separate HLD-8G grip accessory. Olympus also added Wi-Fi and improved the handling over the original EM5. There's better button design, and that new LCD really helps out. Additionally, the camera's body is still weatherproof, so the EM5 Mark II should be just as tough as its predecessor. The only downsides of the camera are that its menu system is still really complicated, and that's something we complain about on all of Olympus's mirrorless cameras. The EM5 Mark II is also a bit pricey, coming in at $10.99 body only. And that's especially pricey when you consider you can get the OMD EM10 or the Panasonic GX7 for less than $700. Either way, this is a solid update to a great camera, and we're excited for it to hit stores later this month.